Oh, something just hit it. It's another one. Oh, that's a big snook. That's a big snook. Welcome back everybody and or anybody. Christian would make time for fishing here. Still in Tampa, still on uh, Weedon Island Preserve today. I thought I was only gonna get one day out here, but it looks like I'm gonna get another day, possibly one more tomorrow, so we'll see. Uh, I'm going straight to shrimp today. That was the ticket yesterday. Going to try to see if you can get on it. It's a little bit overcast. Uh, first light right now. Mosquitoes are definitely out. Hopefully the sun comes out and helps me out with these bugs, but I'm gonna get to it and see what I can catch. Caught some snook and uh, mangrove snapper yesterday, which is my first time ever catching them. Hopefully I can get some PBs today. Let's get to it. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching and enjoy. All right, so I was catching snapper in here yesterday. I'm gonna see if I can find a snook. I did see quite a few snook on this stretch yesterday and I scared most of them, but maybe I'll be able to uh, get lucky here. All right, so I'm not sure if I was filming, but I just caught a couple smaller mangrove snapper, maybe eight inches or so. This is the dock where I first started catching fish yesterday. I see a sheep's head on this near piling. It's a decent snapper. That might be a keeper snapper. <laughs> like I said, that's my third snapper of the day. Uh, I don't think I had the first two on video. Let's see. Another snapper. That's a pretty big one. So I just saw someone fishing here, so I have no reason to think there are fish over here because he didn't catch any, but this little dock with the mangrove under it looks really good. That was a good cast, actually. Oh. Oh. Well, I had something, I'm thinking it was a mangrove or a sheep. It wasn't as good of a cast, but it should be good enough. Oh. Well, that's not... Well, that would seem to be a snook. Come on out. There's really not much I can do here besides hope he comes out. I can't go under there. See if I can... Get this guy around the piling. Dang it. That stinks. Wasn't ready for it. I think I need to retie my leader. All right, I have to uh, retie and then I'll uh, see if I can do that again. Stay tuned. All right, well, that was tough. First snook bite. Been out here for about an hour and a half, possibly almost two hours now, and that was my first what seemed like a snook bite. So there's a nice fat shrimp, split shot. Good um, two and a half, three feet of 20 pound leader. And I'm going to skip back under this dock, see if there's any other snook. There's another one. Oh, I think that was a big snapper. Saw it for like half a second. Didn't break me off at least. It looks like we might get a little drizzle here. Although it doesn't look like it's really going to rain, I hope. It's pretty light out. Um, still using split shot. I'm at the uh, dock after that one where I got broken off. Oh, that's a big snook. That's a big snook. Oh, are you kidding me? 
That was a big snook. I saw him. He broke me off too. Oh, dang it. I saw him at least. That was probably 25, 26 inch or maybe more. Dang it. Oh, that's disappointing, but I'm starting to find some at least. Chances another one will bite like that under there. Probably not great, but I'll try. So I should probably have significantly heavier leader than I do. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. But he was right under that dock right there, that little step down thing. I'll, I'll float over here slowly and then cast under it that way. Let that sink. Oh, something just hit it. It's another one. Not as big as the last one. Not as big as the last one. <laughs> Come on. These things are strong. This one's probably only about the size of the ones yesterday, but he is pulling. Whew. Good fish. Wow. Definitely not the size of the one I just lost, but um, maybe I'll fi start finding some here. Probably a little 20 incher, fun. Pull drag. Let's get a measurement because I have no feel for these fish and how big they are. Uh, no, this one's only, uh, no, he's like 19 and a half, almost 20. They're so pretty. Love these fish. I'm gonna take a quick picture of them and get them back. See if we can find his big brother. First snook of the day landed. Very happy to see him. Those fish are scrappers, man. All right, still got plenty of live shrimp and finally got a uh, snook on the board today. Super pumped to have actually landed one after breaking two off. So this was the dock where I broke off the first, what I believe was a snook, and I heard some more blow ups from this direction while I was fishing the next dock. So I'm gonna put a cast or two under here again, see if any uh, snook are back under here, filled in. It's been about 15 minutes or so that I was on the next dock. Oh, it's just a big snapper. It is a big snapper though. Dang. Yeah, that's a big snapper. I bet this is a keeper snapper. They do have such cool colors. They're not what I'm looking for. And I love how cool this spot is. Beautiful. You'll see like sheep's head in a foot of water, it's crystal clear, and you'll see them just eating off these barnacles and oysters in the mangroves. Oh, that was a big one. He didn't break me off, but I, he did shake the hook when he jumped. Someone got it. Oh, what the heck? Got a little needlefish? That wasn't what I wanted. There's a massive snook. Holy sh! That's gotta be a 40. It is so big. Okay, well, just caught a pretty decent sheep's head. 
been a slow minute. He uh, chewed up most of my shrimp and then I threw back in with a tiny little piece that was left and just lifted up and he was already there. Good guy, maybe 11, 12 inches. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the camera back off. Don't want it to die before I get off the water. I only have a few live shrimp left and then a bunch of dead shrimp. So we'll see what happens. Another decent snapper. This is on just a little uh, tail of a shrimp that he already, or one of his buddies already ate most of. It's a pretty chunky one though, he might make it. Tiny little sheep, also on a little piece of uh, dead shrimp. Another little sheep. Stingray's coming to check it out. A little bit better than that last guy. What I'm doing right now, like I said, is just burning through my dead shrimp. Just little tiny pieces and uh, these sheep's head are picking it up. All right, got another tiny little sheep's head that time. Let's see if I can do better. All right, got another little snapper here. Hopefully I can keep my shrimp. Give me that. It's the thing, they snap down on the bait. All right, well, I guess he got that one. All right, this is actually a pretty big snapper, as far as they go. Might not look much bigger, but probably a solid inch bigger than the average of the ones I've been catching. Maybe even two inches. Look at that fish. They're mean. All right, almost out of battery, almost out of shrimp. That was my second to last live shrimp. I have one left. Well, this, I don't know what this is. Looks like maybe a, it's, oh my gosh. That is a, either a grunt or the biggest pinfish I've seen in my entire life. If someone can help me figure this out, let me know. But this might be just a monster pinfish. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It looks like a giant pinfish, though. It might be a grunt. All right, well, I'm filming my outro now because my battery's about to die. I have a few more dead shrimp to burn through on uh, sheep's head and snapper. I'll try to get it on video if I get a decent one of either, but today was a fun day still. I don't think I caught as many fish as I did yesterday overall, but I did have a, ch a couple chances at some big snook. I broke off two and lost a third that were all big. Um, my guess is smallest one was about 25. Biggest one could have almost been 30. I saw a 40 inch snook that I just could not get to eat. Uh, overall though, it was a fun day. I did get a snook, uh, got some sheep's head, got some snapper. Pretty much the same as yesterday, just a little bit smaller. But this is still some more exploration. There might be a beach fishing video or something like that coming up, but uh, we'll see if that happens or not. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Remember to make some time for fishing. Bye.